What is going on guys? Today is going to be a pretty fun, interesting video because I'm going to be draining the entire pond, taking everything out, checking the turtles, weighing them, measuring them, and seeing Shadow's shell improvement. We're also going to be seeing the fish to see if there's more fish than there was when I put in here. But I'm really interested to see how much everything's grown and everything, just see how everything's doing. So get right on to it so obviously I'm gonna be cleaning the pond when I'm done draining it but I'm not gonna be recording that just because I mean it's the same as last time now tricky thing is I have this tube filter is in the, the doghouse so I need to figure out a way to get this out to drain it Got the pond drained out, and we're gonna catch some stuff. I got my little net here. Yeah, just a little net, but it's what I found in the barn. I have my actual fishing net, but couldn't find it because I think it got moved by someone. But, whoa, gotta be careful while I step so I don't step on a, a buried soft shell. Um, right here, it's a slope, so it's just liner. I'm gonna kinda go around and look. I did look at the bass and previous video I said I think one of them died because the other bass was eating all the food turns out I was wrong the other bass is still alive but the thing is skinnier than a toothpick that got cut in half so I'm gonna keep it out of the pond and uh, just kinda hand raise him until he's big and fat he's a nice goldfish alright so I'm gonna try to do this one handed thing I'm gonna try to put my foot up here and grab a few turtles. Come here, Shadow. Everyone wants to see how you're doing. Come here. Come here. There he is, right there. She is. Come here, Shadow. I don't think it helps yelling at him. Come here, I don't want to reach for you. Come on. Come on. I can't. All right, all right. I see how you're going to be. There's a rock right here. I see how it is. All right, we got Shadow. Looking at shell here, try to get it in the sun. All right, I think is that good. All right, so shell looking a lot better. It's got some kind of just pond scum on it, so just kind of brush that off. But I can't barely see cause how bright it is. If you guys can tell, but I'll here I'll put a comparison picture up. That's what her shell look, looked like on the left when I put her out in the pond, and that's what it looks like now. You may not be able to tell a whole difference. Just because the picture quality may not be the best from the picture on the left, but definitely I can tell because these little patch, patches here, right here, like in the middle of the scoots, they're a lot smaller, and the white around the scoot, it doesn't look like it's like, I don't know, the white are on the, the actual shell, that comes off when she sheds, so, and you can actually kind of peel it off now, but her shell is actually looking so much better. I got some comments saying that the natural basking wouldn't help it at all, but I've got to say, I kind of disagree. I mean, it's definitely helped her a lot. It's the plastron. I mean, I can tell a difference. Shell's a whole lot smoother, a whole lot nicer. I can tell a difference, guys. I don't know if you can or not, but I know I can. I want to find the pleco because this thing is just ginormous. Definitely got huge out in the pond. Let's see. I know flapjack. Let's look at a soft shell. I know flapjack is around here. I saw him bury. Pretty sure he is somewhere around here. That's really gross sand. Flapjack. I will get back when I find him. So I didn't find flapjack, but I found the smaller female. Eastern spiny. Here she is. Looking pretty good. I don't see any new bite marks, which is fantastic. Doesn't look like she's grown a whole lot, but I mean, she is looking good. Oh, strange, what is that? Ah, uh, I see. All right, so she's looking good. Colors, I gotta say, I think the colors have just popped, definitely. 
this natural sun and everything. The soft shell is flapjack, the male. He basks just as much as the red eards, which was a little surprising. This girl basks a lot, and Darwin, which I hope to find, doesn't bask a whole lot. But she's looking great. Here is good old Phelps, the male red eared slider, king of the pond. Looking great as usual. Nice, pristine shell. I'm gonna try to grab anyone else. Let's see if I can feel around. Oh, there's a fish. That's a luxurious fish right there. Look at that. Oh, splash water on me. Look at Cooper, Peninsula Cooter male. Looking great as well. He had a little bit of hard water stain on his shell, which grew algae, which, as you can see in the bottom, grew a bunch of algae. But his basking is taking that a lot, a lot of that off. So once he comes indoor, an indoor turtle again, that should come right off. So let's look for another soft shell. So not a soft shell, but a map. Hurricane Mississippi map female. Looking pretty good. Some darker some kind of algae on, on the sides here. But she rarely basks, I do have to say. She stays at the bottom most of the time. Caught her basking the past few days just because it's starting to get a little bit colder. So now they're all coming out during the day to get that last bit of sun. But so far so good. No skin fungus. No skin problems. Looking, looking great. I really want to find Darwin because I knew she grew so much. So I also want to find the Pleco. We'll keep looking. Female red eared slider, looking good, has grown tremendously. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Not sure if it's focused. Right here, this little section, about the width of my finger. New growth. Big girl, for sure. I don't know if you can see, but right here, I saw a little, little head go in the sand here. So here is Flapjack. Male Eastern Spiny. I'll have to get him washed off. Looking good. Here is Flapjack. Looking amazing. The soft shells, the colors just pop when they've been outside for sure. He is looking great. No, oh, he's got, like a, looks like a little bite mark there. It's probably from Darwin. She's just so big. But, um, looking great. Definitely a healthy dude and no skin fungus or anything like that so we shall put him over here there he goes fellas the pleco this thing is massive look at it it was not even close to that big when i put it out here it was like it's like that big this thing is huge i'm mean, actually probably gonna have to sell it when i bring the turtles in because it's just too big to have with a lot of turtles because they can do damage in the turtle shells unless it's a really big enclosure and a lot of food for the pleco but dang this is huge fat i don't have to sell that dude it stinks okay y'all we did it found darwin here she is absolutely massive oh, it's not focused there we go massive compared to when i put her in here i mean she is just her colors are stunning now. Well, before they were like really tan and drab. But here you can see her obviously doing amazing. But I'm going to use Flapjack because she was just about the size of Flapjack. She was just a little bigger than Flapjack when I put her out here. Here's Flapjack. They were just about the exact same size. Now look. See that size difference? I could get them lined up. There we go. Perfectly lined up. Just look at that size difference. So she has been eating something to get her that big. I don't know if the fish are having babies or what, but here are the three soft shells. There they are. Looking great. And I was going to leave Darwin out all winter, but I decided since... There you go, girl. I decided since she was a female and she's just an absolute beast stunner she's gorgeous decided to bring her in so she's going to come in 
just with all the other turtles and it took me about 45 minutes to find her so yeah okay so here's the pond a few days later so it's real nice and clear could still get a little bit clearer but I, mean, I can see the bottom all the way around I actually put the uh, yearly northern map turtles that were in my room out here as well and they're doing great the or the little guys they're like that big but um yeah everyone's doing great the turtles are loving it took a few days for it to completely clear up but as you can see looking good there's the pond So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to help support the channel or get to just send in fan mail of any kind, make sure to check out the description below where I have a P.O. box and I have three Amazon wish lists where you can you know, choose to donate something from there and send it to the P.O. box. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe because there's a lot of stuff coming up. I hope you had a great day and yeah. Just thanks for watching the video. This was an awkward outro. Here's a painted. This is the one with a damaged face from a hook. Damage on her face right there, and then blind in this eye. So. Yeah, that's why I had to keep her.